And the next award is the Winterton Iron Award and Doug Parker, if you would come to the stage. Doug Parker. Anne Marie. Anne Marie's presenting it. Anne Marie's going to present it instead. Welcome to the stage. And who has won the Winterton Iron Award? Sean McAllister. Until now, drifted about a little bit, spent a little bit of time at Shrewsbury and ended up in Scotland. Got a phone call off him in the summer, asking if he could come and train and uh, I think the rest is history. I think everybody sees what he gives to the team. Um, honest endeavour and, and obviously quality as well. I think people forget that a little bit. Uh, what did you describe as the other day, Dion? Was it the cleaner? <laughs> the cleaner is back. Um, you know, he does, he mops up and sweeps up and wins a lot of second ball, both ends of the pitch, and uh, he's out, uh, had an outstanding season, along with uh, lots of other players. Well done, Sean. Sean, have you enjoyed your season here at Scumbug United? Yeah, obviously delighted with how it's gone. Um, obviously didn't start the first game, but then to get, get an opportunity and, and play as much as I have done, I'm delighted with it, yeah. Sean McAllister, everyone. It's the uh, leading goal scorer awards, um, which I think we already know, but Russ, if you would like to. <laughs> I don't know. It's the, the man who some people got a bet on at 80 to 1 before the season, but uh, that's not brag. Go on, uh, so give us a few words about our leading goal scorer. Um, I think I've said most things about Sam. Um, I think the main thing regarding Sam, which which is is going to be good, is that he's still got a lot of developing to do, and I think he knows that. Um, you know, he's he hasn't got the complete game yet, so there's lots to come, which is which is great. Um, he's had an outstanding season. I said before, to get 23 league goals in 46 games is is an incredible achievement from from anybody. So, um, well done again, Sam. Too bad, so, so tell us about this award. Um, 
Well, you've seen tonight with the mix of uh, people winning awards, with it's a, a close call. If you like the decision, it was mine. If not, it's George Kearney's in uh, Venezuela. Um, we could have gone with Sam Winnell. It was a close one. Sam Slocum, lots of players in there. We decided in the end to go for Sean McAllister. Yeah. these days we have to go for line <laughs> from George's collection of them. Push the ball out there, Thanks guys. Sean McAllister, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, the Scunthorpe Telegraph Award is the next award. Chris Sumter, if you'd like to come to the stage, please, Chris. <laughs> So Chris, let us know who's got your award. Well, it's voted for by the readers of the Scunthorpe Telegraph, and uh, this year's vote was as close as it's ever been, really. And uh, it gives it away a bit when I tell you that the winning margin was less than the number of penalties he saved this season in the league. It's Sam Slocum. It just says players up here, so if the players would like to come and present the award to one of the players, then that'd be great. Don't all rush the stage at once, though, obviously. We'll get Paddy, because he looks dapper. Come on, Paddy. Million dollars. Come on, Mickey, you look class as well. Where's Mickey Collins? Uh, Chefs, you'll have to come up because Paddy's here. <laughs> Sign these twins. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, we'll have, we'll have Andy Dawson as well. Because uh, I'd just like to say a little bit about Andy. I, I miss a few people out. Um, obviously, need to say a little bit about Tony and, and my staff as well. But my staff this year have been fantastic. Um, the sat there now, and that's Paul Arzi including that because he's obviously held the reins a little bit while Tony's been with me, so I thank you for that Paul. I thank all my staff, um, quickly go through that. Tony, thank you very much, fantastic job that you've done for me. We sort of thrown in there a little bit of Portsmouth, um, went there and just enjoyed it if you like, and it's rolled on into 30 games, so uh, I thank you so much for that. Muzzy, different class, uh, the bear. As I call you. <laughs> Why don't I put weight on? Well, if you eat 16 chocolate bars, maybe you can answer. <laughs> I thank that's the physio. Thank you, Darren. You've uh, done an unbelievable job, really, to say, you know, the staff we've got on board at the moment. We, we're trying to change that and we've got to touch the chairman's arm and hopefully uh, get some help there. Along with, uh, with Matt Spencer, who's floated between kit man uh, and, and physio as well. Harry Dunn, fantastic job for me, uh, analyst, um, cutting out the clips for the players and giving feedback to anybody else I've not missed. Um, and just Andy, I think for Andy, um, just reminds me of myself, um, the player coach's role, really difficult role, you, you want to bat in both sides and it's difficult to do that, um, but thanks Andy, you've done a terrific job regarding that, um, and there's more to come for you as well. Thank you very much to my staff. Um, well, I've well only been my players up. Look at these two here. No, amazing. You're, you're not going to pull in Donny tonight, I'm telling you. No, 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 no. 
Yeah. No chance. <laughs> Let's find out who the Players' Player of the Year is, and it is Andy Dawson. Sam Slocum. Sam Slocum. So well done, Players Player of the Year, Sam Slocum, everyone. So this is the Ernie Story Memorial Trophy, voted for by the fans, and to give out this award, can we please welcome to this stage area, the chairman, Peter Swan. What a first season for you as well, eh? It's been alright, hasn't it? It's not been too bad, yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've been a bit lucky because uh, I've got some great guys, you know, around me. I, I think I think the hardest thing was uh, was the change in November, you know, making that decision. And uh, um, you never know what's going to happen when you when you change your manager. Uh, fortunately, uh, in Russ's interview, he said I'm going to put square pegs in round holes, and I think that just about did it. <laughs> no one else got that. I know. <laughs> uh, he didn't either at the time. But no, we move on. I mean, any manager who comes into the job and goes 28 unbeaten has got to have something about him and uh, you know you, you look back on it and you think you know we, we've lost a few points here lost a few points there we've talked on a Sunday we've talked on a Monday about how the game's gone but in the end all he's done is he's got up and he's grafted for the rest of the season and he's pushed the lads on he's, he's picked them up when it's not quite worked for us and he, he's you know a lot of this, a lot of this uh, gratitude and everything for the lads is brilliant. But you know, this guy has led this team to promotion this year, and I think he should have a lot of It's good. It's just good. It's going to be nice to have something to smile about, isn't it? I'm always smiling, and I'm very lost. Very few times I'm lost for words, but I am a little bit because it. You know, this is a great, it is a great group of players, as, uh, as Russ says. And it, and it is a fantastic feeling to be somewhere where the players are appreciated and everybody else is appreciated. I know it's been difficult for a few years and we're hoping to change that. And we will again next year because we'll, we'll have the same drive, the same ambition and hopefully have the same result, which will be absolutely amazing. And without that ambition, there's no point in getting up in the morning. So that's what we're going to do next year. The most important thing is that the lads that are here uh, are acknowledged for, for what they've done. And there's a couple of lads who probably haven't been mentioned too much, and that's Murph and Niall. Yeah. You know, who've been... yeah. As well as everybody else, I think they've been, they've been awesome at the back. And, and for Murph, if there was an award from me as a chairman, that would be it as player of the year. Because I think yeah. Yeah. absolutely. I need two centre arms next year, and I don't want to play a lot. <laughs> so, can we please find out who's won the Ernie Story Memorial Trophy? Voted for the fans, the award goes to. I don't know, I've got glasses. <laughs> Starts with an S. Most of them have the same name, haven't they? I know. Uh, Sean McAllister.
Sean, you've been fresh into saying something. What do you want to say? Um, well, thanks for the whole team and uh, the effort they put in this year. I can't do what I do without having them behind me. I'm very grateful to be part of this squad. As I uh, hope they're grateful to have me a part of it. Sean, thank you very much. Michelle, would you like to inform the chairman what he's presenting? <laughs> um, I like to do this one so the chairman can present it, but uh, I'll speak about two special people uh, that's been at this football club a long, long time. Um, they're retiring this season and what a way to go out. So, absolutely delighted from each uh, Frank and Julie Baker. Um, stay where you are, moment, please. I need to say a few words about it. Um, I signed for this club in, I think, 1997 as a 33-year-old, a bit more hair. Um, and Jeannie and Frank looked after me. Jeannie's obviously a dietitian and she got another five years out of me on the playing side. On the playing side, plus this pitch being 60 before, it certainly helped. Um, no, but I thank you so much for that, Jeannie, and, and you, Frank, for the work you've done for this football club. It's been amazing, absolutely amazing. I said to you three weeks ago, Jeannie, the promotion is for you, and I, and I meant that. Um, you, you've, you've done brilliant. Uh, you're, you're a good friend, and you as well, Frank. You're good friends of, of us and everybody at the football club. And the service you've, you've given this club has been amazing. So to finish it on a promotion um, and to move to Newcastle and spend more time with, with, with your family, um, you couldn't ask for a, a, a better finish. So. Please come and accept this award from the chairman. Thank you, Jim. So I'm sure she'll have a few words to say. A couple of lads probably flats are slightly up this morning. Come on, Jeannie, a few words from you. Well, <clears throat> it's been, we've been here 22 seasons, I have to say. Um, and this season has been probably one of the best. The, this thing about the team is that um, in the last few years, it's been a bit... Um, it's not been a team. <laughs> it's not been a team. It's been a collection. Of, it's been a collection. I have to. I can't. I can't say what I would normally say. Can I? <laughs> it's been a collection of cliques. And where you notice it is when the goal gets scored this season. Every single player goes up and congratulates the person who has scored the goal. Even Sam, the goalie, much to Muzzy's disdain. <laughs> But in the few seasons before this, you notice that it depended who scored the goal as to who would go up and celebrate with them. And I think the players that are here now actually don't think themselves um, above the club. And that's why we've done so well this season. Because... because they, actually, they actually work for each other and we have a good laugh. And there's no prima donnas in our squad this year. So, well done, lads, and, he, and thank you very much for the presents. Can Karen Lee please come to the stage, please? Karen Lee. So Karen, just tell us what it is we've got here. 
The official supporters club decided we couldn't let this unbeaten run go uncommemorated. So we'd like to give this award to Ross to commemorate it, please. Obviously means a lot, yeah? yeah, that's right. It's um, again, it, but it's about the group. It's not about individuals. Um, no football club is. I can't do this on my own. I can't go on the pitch and, and score the goals and keep the clean sheets. Um, it's about this amazing group of players that, that I've got this season. And I said to before, the biggest compliment I can pay them is uh, they're a fantastic group of people. And I think that's so important. Um, to have good people working with you, knowing every day when you step on the training ground, you're sort of not looking over your shoulder to see who's not working hard. Um, they've just worked so hard as a group for each other this season. And it's no coincidence, you know, how do you work, you know, that they say the lucky you get, and it's not been about luck this season, it has been about hard work and, and togetherness. Um, I think what's great about this group is they, they actually like each other's company. Um, you were socialised together, which, which you know I encourage. I think you should do that. It's, it's it's a massive part of your life. It is a job, but it's a huge part of your life. But the, these players they like each other, and and I think that shows out on the football pitch. So I thank each one of you, every single player, whether you've played five minutes for the club or forty six games, that doesn't matter because we've achieved this. We've achieved this as a group. Thank you. It all seems to be backed up this in uh, everyone saying that it's been so difficult to choose who's won the awards. Uh, Peter Swan, deserving, wasn't it? Yeah, well, he's won the manager's award, so he's the manager. So that's pretty straightforward, but yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, he's done well there, hasn't he? <laughs> but no, it's fantastic. Like I say, um, he, he's, he's a world record breaker. Um, I'm, yeah. Uh, no, I think, um, like I said, it's very, very difficult when you uh, uh, when you change your manager. But, but to have somebody like Russ who comes in and, and, he, and, he, and he does work with all the players was, I think, was the most important thing. And he's right; all the players have worked well together. Everybody's had a smile on their face. We've grimaced through through the times, but it has generally been a massive team performance all through the club, the whole club, everybody who services the club from through the kitchens, through the stewards, everybody has done a fantastic job this year and I think that's been the most important thing for, for us. To get back on to that winning feeling, to get back on to that happy feeling is what we need to do. We've done it this year and we're going to do it again and uh, you know I just want to thank everybody for supporting the club because it, it, it is important we saw seven and a half thousand people out there today. You know the potential of Scunthorpe is huge and we can do it. And we'll do it in the new stadium as well. And, and that's, that's something that's going to drive us forward. 